Well, shit, I fucked that one up. I went over the timeline. Slocky, so JD Niger, we're going to get into this finally. Sometimes I need to get this stuff out of my spirit. Naturally. All right, all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son. And the Holy Spirit. Ah. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, JD Niger, Word of Truth. So we're gonna finally get into this. I think I've been getting into it, but um, let's hear what the Lord has to say. Let all man's heart be quiet and let the Lord speak. So we're in um, all praises to Yahweh, the existent I am, the, the Yahweh Vave, the unspeakable word, name of God. And coming in the name of his son, Yahawashai, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, that guy. That was your savior, your deliverer through the Holy Spirit that rests with us now. <laughs> that's causing this thorn in the side of some of us. That's made sufficient through the, our Heavenly Father. Um, his will. Lord, Heavenly Father, bless this message. Bless the ears that hear it. Make it powerful. Make it impactful. Make it understandable. Let your word speak to your people, for your will, to your ends. We love you. In Jesus, Yahawashai, Solomon. His name, through the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay. God delights in his elect. Um, behold my servant whom I uphold, mine elect. Who are the elect, really? The elect are those that are do no wrong. We're sanctified, we're justified, we're made perfect in him to do the perfect will of the Heavenly Father. Whether it be go to the bar and have your energy, your spirit there, um, walk with drug addicts walk with prostitutes walk with thieves as an elect there's no difference they're all the same they're all the same to, to those that aren't the elect. Those are all the same to us. We're separate. We're set. We're in a we're in the upper chambers. We're in a place that most can't get to until the Lord comes and puts everyone in their place. We're in an exalted place that that's not of men. Is that hard to take sometimes? Yeah, I'd love for I'd love for Apostle Tahar and Gabar and Aramlav and these dummies to go. Man, that day JD Nija turned us around. We think we're gonna follow him. We're giving up on Masha as King David. We're giving up on um, Joseph is the son, uh, uh, father of Jesus. We're given up on globe earth. We're given up on the Gentiles can't make it. We know the truth now. And you know what? Listen to that dude. Listen to J.D. Nyjah. Listen to Jeff DeLoach. I would love that. Because I, I would like the world to recognize me as a man of the Lord. But is that going to happen? Not right now. Some of you see me. I know you do. 
So let's go into what the elect are. Let's see what Isaiah is saying. The Lord delights in the elect. This, this scripture alone, we could just sit on this one for another 25 minutes. God delights in his elect. Behold my servant. Behold, look. Look. Behold. Can you see him? Behold, look, my servant, whom I uphold. How's he uphold us? With his right arm of righteousness. Sanctification. We are made perfect in his will. Mine elect, in whom my soul delighteth, I have put my spirit upon him. He shall bring forth judgment to who? GMS? To who, GMS? To who, one waste? Hebrew, black Hebrew Israelites? The Gentiles, you dumb. I don't know. These guys must be a joke or something. They must be like this newspaper. It's just, it's just something for us to scribble in while we're staying busy with the true work. Some, some coloring book. Let's color some flowers and some turtles. Dummies. He shall not cry nor lift up nor cause his voice to be heard in the street. Will not cause his voice to be heard in the street. I'll go on. A bruised reed shall he not break, and the smoking flax shall not quench. He shall bring forth judgment unto truth. Whoa! <laughs> What's that mean? A bruised reed shall he not break. That means we're not here to hurt anyone that's already hurt. This place is hurting. We're not gonna we're not try, here to cause hurt. We're here to heal. We're here to uplift. We're here to bring a truth that will straighten your path. He shall not fail. Verse 4, Isaiah 42, He shall not fail till he have set judgment in the earth and the isles shall wait for his law. Who is that? That's the spirit of Yahawashai. That's the spirit of Jesus in us. That's the one that's bringing forth judgment to the Gentiles, to the heathen, to the churches, to the, even to short bus Israelites. We have to deal with all of them. We can't just deal with some. We're dealing with all. God would wish none to perish. God calls Israel in righteousness. So I think I think I've pretty much broken down with my just my biblical understanding. I broke it down in a in my own words. And um, now we're gonna go into the scriptures, but basically what we're doing here is rehashing what I said and watch, you'll see. God calls Israel in righteousness. These are truths, people. Do you understand? God calls Israel in righteousness. What's righteousness? We do no wrong. Thus said the Lord God, he that created the heavens and stretched them out, he that spread forth the earth like a blanket, like a, and that which cometh out of it, he that giveth breath unto the people upon it in spirit to them that walk therein. Do you think that his story is going to fail? Do you think his story is 
not going to have all kinds of beautiful twists and turns. Beautiful. And that's, that's what churches and heathens and people that don't want to know the Bible, the true Bible, they don't want to know how powerful and perfect and set these things are. It's set. It's it's firm. It's not he's saying this earth is, this earth is firm. Everything that I did is firm. I put the spirit in my prophets of truth because the truth is firm. The, I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness and will hold thine hand and will keep thee and give thee for a covenant of the people for a light to the Gentiles. What part of that don't you understand, Tahar? I feel like going to New York and going, hey, being that I can't fight you in the spirit, how about you, Aramlob, and Gabar, me against all you old men? Let's just, let's just mix it up a little bit because I want to just suck you and silly because you're leading my people astray. I don't like you when you do that. And I, and I want to hurt you. I want to hurt you some way. And if I can't cut you in the spirit, can I suck you in the lip? And I'm not inciting violence. I'm just saying these things are in my heart, Lord. YouTube. I'm not going to do that, but I'm saying if I wasn't righteous, these are the things that a righteous man won't do because we do no wrong. But do, do I think about that? Does my carnal side want to just slap these guys around? Slap some sense into them? Yeah. To open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. I am the Lord, that is my name. I am is his name. Not Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I am. I am. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I will tell you of them. What's that saying? What's he telling Isaiah? You're my servant. You're my perfect servant. And you're going to keep saying these things that people don't understand. But you're still going to say them. You're going to spring forth out of the earth. I commanded it. I declared it. I'm declaring it again to you. Listen. Sing praise and glory. Verse 10, Isaiah 42. Sing unto the Lord a new song and his praise from the end of the earth. Ye that go down to the sea and all that therein, the isles and the inhabitants thereof. That means we're on this, we're in this place. We're in these chains of darkness. We're in this 3D junkyard. Go down to the isles. Go down to the land. Go down to the mountains. Go down to this fucky place. And sing, let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice, the villages that Kedar doth inhabit. Those are the blacks. Those are the ones of dark, dark Kedar. Those are the Egyptians, Canaanites. These are probably Edomites, black Hebrew Edomites. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Let the glory be unto the Lord. Declare the praise, the judgment of God. I'm going to go to a different scripture because I think you get the idea in that one. I don't, I don't want to just talk, talk, talk. I want to get a couple. 49, 1 through 7. This might, this might bring it around a little clearer. I'm getting hot and sweaty and I have to go to church here in a minute. But um, I want you to understand this idea of the perfect servant. If you want to do a good study, get on Google and ask, Scriptures about the perfect servant. I can't do your studying for you. All I can do is lead you in these paths. 
49, 1 through 7, the shadow of God's hand. Why is it a shadow, people? Because they, the sh spirit only leaves, it only leaves a, um, a shadow. It's not, it's not fulfilled yet. It's a shadow. It's, we can only see through the glass dimly. You can't tell what you're seeing when you see a shadow. You're seeing a shadow of a man. You're seeing a shadow of a bird. You're seeing a shadow of a lifeguard tower. You're seeing a shadow of a truck. You can only tell that it's a shadow of something. Do you know what kind of truck it is? You can't tell by the shadow. Can you tell whether it's a man or a woman? You can't tell a lot of times by the shadow. You can see that it's a woman because there's long hair. But then when you look, nope, it's just a man with long hair. Oh, listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken, ye people, from afar. What's he saying? Isaiah's saying, Listen, you Gentiles. Listen, you heathen. Listen, you beasts. Listen, you two-thirds Israelite. Listen. The Lord has called me from the womb. From the bowels of my mother has he made me mention your name. What's his name? I am. Why is his name I am? Because I am. That's the point of I am. That's why when they say, his name's Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. No, it's not. His name's I am. And if you knew that, you would say that. But you are not. That's why you, uh, I am, but you're not. That's the point. Not everyone is made perfect. Not everyone does no wrong. He's telling Isaiah, you are, you are I am. And he has made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand has he hid me. Can you see me? I'm a shadow. I'm ether. He has made me a polished chaff. In his quiver has he hid me. Why? Why does he say that? Why am I hidden? Because he's hidden. You have to search for him. Search and you will find. Ask and it will be given to you. You have to ask, who am I? Who am I? Who is the am I? Who is the I am? Do you understand? I can't. That's why I'm not a pastor. I can only pastor you through the scripture. I'm not a churchy. I'm an Israelite. I am. Who sent me? When they ask, when, when someone asks you, who who is it that, that sent you? I am. And he said to me, You art my servant, O Israel, in whom I will be glorified. Then I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for naught and in vain. Yet surely my judgment is with the Lord and my work with my God. Five views. Ten views. If I hit on something carnal and worldly. 30 views? Do I work in vain? Surely I've worked in vain. It's my client. That's Isaiah saying, I have a carnal side too. I want to hard to wake up. I want to be recognized by men. I want them to know me because I am. Verse 5, the shadow of God's hand. And now said the Lord that formed me from the word, and now said the Lord that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to be his servant, to be his servant. To bring Jacob again to him, I'm losing it. 
Though Israel be not gathered, yet shall I be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. Could GMS actually be Israel? Very likely, two-thirds. What's Isaiah saying? I can't get through to him. They see me as Satan. They see me as a devil. They're like, that Edomite can't be a, he can't be the I am. We're the hopeful elect. We're the servants. We're the prophets of the Lord. No, you're not. No, you're not. Word of truth. And he said, it is a light thing. It is a light thing that you, you shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give you for a light to the Gentiles. So, are the Gentiles in Israel the same? Are Gentiles just Israelites in a Hellenistic mindset? No. He's saying there's two different Fuck. Slakia. I don't know if these guys are just wicked or stupid. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe a little of both. Do they ever read the Bible? That's two different people. And he said, is it a light thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob? One group. The tribes. Israel. One group. And to restore the preserved of Israel, those who follow after us, those who sojourn with us, those who were strangers in our tents, serving us, watching out for us, empowering us, helping us. That's Israel. It's not just the 12 tribes, you dumb fucking niggas. Slakia. Sorry. I'm trying not to get angry because I know it does no good. Let me read it again. And he said, is it a light thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob? Is it? Is it going to be easy? Is it a light thing? No, it's a heavy thing. It's hard. And to restore the preserved of Israel, I will also give thee, I will also, besides that, I will give you to be a light to the Gentiles, the churches, the heathens, anyone who's doesn't get it, they will through Israel. That thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. I think we got it. I got to go to church. I got to meet my friend. I hope you understand what I'm what what's going on here. What's going on here is the Lord's raising up men, real men of his that he knew from the womb that he's we were designed for this. We were meant to do no wrong. We're perfected in the spirit. The spirit of truth has perfected us to do this work. It's not a light thing. Because we're still here. Did it, was it easy for Jesus, you think? Are we going to have to suffer? Like him? Hopefully not. But to a point, yeah. That's what little Jesuses do. J.D. Nigel, word of truth. Pray for me. Pray for Israel. Pray for the elect, please. You churches are innocent, and it's good to have you pray for Israel. Your prayers, your Lord hears your prayers. Pray for Israel like you pray for yourself. Because that innocent, loving spirit that seeks the Lord... 
powerful. JD Nija, till the next one, I'm out.